Welcome back, everybody, to Chrono Trigger. So, we're still here in the prison. We gotta make our hasty escape, but I'm not sure my health is good. It is actually not too good, so. And we got plenty of potions, so. Of course, 50. We restore 50, excuse me. That should be good enough. So, yeah, remember that manual we just looked at about the dragon tank? Guess what's coming? <laughs> What was that? You're about to find out, Luca. Ah, there it is. Yikes. Forward, Dragon Tank. Crush those conspirators. It's a guy. That Chancellor has no chill. Now, remember what the manual said you can't use fire against this thing, and the head repairs the damage. It's all about, this fight is all about ma uh, Battle of Attrition, if anything. Now, everyone might have their own strategies for this. I just like to spam Cyclone. Until the head's gone. It's always worked for me, so I don't, I don't anticipate it not working this time either. Yeah, probably as he does attack. Or it attacks, I should say. Yeesh. And attacks are pretty strong, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I hate the fact that the head restores the health. Not cool, man. Okay, Luca has to heal herself now. Ugh. Maybe one or two more will get rid of the head, hopefully. I don't know. Item, potion, that. Air cyclone. Keep the cyclones coming, Corona. Wow. I know for a fact we are making progress, though. I've I played this fight enough times as it is. He loves to run us over, doesn't he? Jeez. Taking a bit longer than I thought it would, but whatever. Make sure I've healed Chrono there, shit. There we go, finally. No more healing for you. Okay, there's still two parts left to keep the Cyclones going. And our potion in there. Now the gear is gone. Oh yeah, I forgot, I had that stupid laser. Don't ch take chances here, keep healing. Okay, you can stop now. Jeez. Hold on, all the stops now with that damn laser. Oh, we're done. Cool. Sweet. <laughs> Not as bad as I thought it would be, to be honest. My dragon tank! Fix it, quickly! A bit too late for that, Chancellor. Not a place to stand, either. Don't fool yourselves into thinking you'll get away with this. No, we definitely are. Okay. So yeah, so as you can see, it's the same layout as the one 600 AD. They're escaping. We've got no choice. We just have to try a pile through. Amen to that. Okay, don't... okay. Stop that right now. Princess Nadia. Weird how she put on the dress for this scene, but whatever. That man is my friend, and you will treat him as such. But, your highness... You refuse to obey my orders? No, I... forgive me, my lady. Hold it right there. Yeah, this doesn't really explain how we got over there, but the Chancellor, but... On your knees, His Grace King Guardia 33rd comes before you. Mm. Father. 
Silence, Nadia. Your duties come before your whims. You are a princess before all else. You are such an asshole. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm a person first and princess second. Amen to that. All these little excursions of yours outside the castle seem to be having a bad influence on you. You're so out of touch. It's not influence, it's common sense, right? Nadia. I can't live in this stupid castle anymore. I'm leaving. You yeah, throw that dress away. Princess Nadia. Come on, Chrono. They're still kneeling down like idiots. Don't just stand there after them. Oh, Nadia. You brought that upon yourself, Kingy. There they are, don't lose them. Mm. There's nowhere left to run. Come along quietly, I don't think so. Now, in case you're wondering, this path we're on is a dead end. Open Gleave ahead. Yep. Oh, look at that, what's that down there below? Looks like a dead end. Not necessarily. A gate. Mm hmm. Come on. Come on, we have no idea where they'll take us. We might not even be able to get back. Well, do you have a better idea, Luca? Who cares? Anywhere's better than here. True that. Princess Nadia. Mm, now we're completely boxed in. This is totally irrational, you know. <laughs> Hurry, Chrono. Get in there. And we're out. That's a face to look at. They disappeared! Hey, back in the weird Twilight Zone effect. Eek! Yeah, note the environment we're in. Ow. There's no way the Chancellor can get us here. Well, obviously, he doesn't have a gate key. But, where are we? The civilization here seems pretty advanced. Oh, you think? It almost looks like we're in another world. I'm afraid not. A curious crest is engraved here, and a mysterious force seals it shut. Yeah, we'll get to those doors later too, just like with the chest we saw. Kinda creepy to go out from, like, the medieval times to this, but whatever, it's how the game works. Got any cash? Yes, I do. Is stuff real? Never seen money like this before. Oh well, I have some good stuff for you. Okay. Three of those. Three of those. Okay, let's equip that stuff. Gun, new helmet, new suit, and just helmet and suit, right? How much money do we have anyway? 7,658, alright. So, don't need that. Don't need that. Those. That or that. Okay. 9,838, not too bad. And we just keep saving up money, someday it'll come in handy. That's what I tell myself anyway. There should still be some food at Aristome to the northeast, if you could get through Site 16 alive. The sprinters that haunt the place can't be harmed by weapons like guns or blades. Truce? Never heard of a dome by that name. This is Tran Dome. Yeah, as if you couldn't tell, this is. Obviously, a very messed up situation we've we walked into. If you're looking for food, you won't find any here. Kingdom, Chancellor, has the hunger driven you mad? This is Enertron. You get a full night's sleep in a few seconds, but it won't do a thing for your hunger. How's our stats? Yeah, we'll just use it around real quick. Yep, rest. Yeah, I don't know why it brings that up, because that like hunger actually affects the group, but... Okay, that's all we could do down here for now. We have to actually cross those ruins next. Yep, Site 16, here we go. Okay, watch out for these rats. They'll steal a potion from you, I believe, if they touch you. Berserker ring, what's that do? 
Boost attack defense cannot control wear. Yeah, I hate that damn thing. It's absolute waste. So yeah, we're gonna cut through this area and deal with any enemies we come through on the way. Again, the more you grind this game, the better off you'll be in the end. I keep, I'm gonna keep stressing that. Oh yeah, I forgot that stupid thing to the right heals. Yeah, take it out first, thank you. Yeah, these octopus fins aren't very strong, are they? Oh wow, that I guess helped that too, son of a bitch. Wow, even Wooka couldn't take it out. Yeah. Plant thing first. Foral horror. Yeah, definitely looks like a foral horror if you ask me. Okay, now deal with these volcano things. Not too bad. Again, we're in good shape level-wise. Not too concerned here. Two down, one to go. Beautiful. Okay, we'll look a leveled up, that's good. Treasure. Ah, yeah. More of the floral horrors. Or a floral horror, okay. Overkill Chrono, but I'll take the critical, thank you very much. Whatever these things are, they're very resilient. Not fam, to be honest. Yeah, you might as well do a group heal here, or the war world, please, thank you. Much better. Got okay, here. Silver Sword, part for Chrono, right? I already have one, right. We got that at the prison, didn't we? Yeah. Oh. That, whatever it is. Silver Bow. Definitely for Marl, let's see. Yeah, that was right. Okay, now we got two of the floral horrors, two of these things, alright. We we'll need some text here. Wind slash, yeah, I'm sure. Can you stop healing, please. Wow, that's not as strong as I thought it would be. What that do a lot more damage. Okay, plants are gone. Can you stop doing that, please? Being kind of irritating. Okay, you gotta be done there after that. Yes, you are. Cool. Oh, yeah, more of these volcano things. Never gonna use a cyclone here. No four of the five ain't bad. Did that kill all four of them? The hell he isn't dude. Sweet. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Chrome level up, that's good. Now we gotta deal with these shadow things. Remember what the guy said in the dome. You, these things are not damaged by regular attacks, you have to use fire on them. Go three? Yes I can. 
Yeah, so little things you have to look for, because if you didn't speak to that person and you played this section for the first time, you'll never know that you have to use fire on these things. I guess the games back then did not hold your hand, not one bit. Okay, more treasure. Ether, okay, sure. But I imagine most people with these types of games, they don't speak to every NPC they see. But lo and behold, you will do that in this game, you'll bite you in the ass. I think of those two on the left. Just to demonstrate, you can see it has one point of health these shadows. The boss attack's not gonna do any damage. It's just gonna miss. You have to counter that too. Can you flame it up. Now, I can only imagine people playing this blind nowadays, how like stuck they would get on certain things. I can only imagine. I should probably watch someone play this game blind when I get a chance. Uh, Fire World. Got all three, nice. Oh, trust me, the boss fights, don't get me started on the boss fights we had around in this game. They become so goddamn complicated. Yeah, this, um, can we fight this one? Yes, we can. Doesn't this thing have like 300 health or something? <laughs> exactly 300, holy shit, how did I remember that? That was just a lucky guess on my part. I think we're out of this area when we go up from here, so I'm not too worried about healing just yet. Okay, and... last one. Okay, let's make quick work of this last view, and then we're out of here, I think. Not the biggest deal in the world, we're still gonna kill you regardless. Exit, right? Cool. See, as you can see on the overworld map, we got three places to go, but here's where we gotta go first. This is, um, Aristotle, right? Yeah, very gloomy atmosphere with the music, too, right? Who are you? You there, where have you come from? You just came from the other side of the ruins to the west. What? What did you say? Hey, we got people who crossed the ruins. What? Are you serious? So there are people strong enough to fight those mutants. Yeah. Daddy's gonna be back with some food soon. Oh. Poor kid. Prolo Dome and an old abandoned factory site lie to the east. We can't get near them though. The places are filled with robots running berserk. Skynet, anybody? <laughs> My husband left with a food storage facility down below. We haven't seen him since. Mm. You can reach the continent to the s south through the sewers, but I wouldn't advise it. That's where Death Peak sits, the source of all this devastation. And besides, even someone as strong as you would never stand a chance against the mutants that live down those sewers. We don't see about that, lady. There's an old man living in the dome he built near Death Peak. Said he wanted to monitor it. Talk about crackpots. We're not so sure. That man does have his reasons. The door of the crest? Push it, pull it, bash it, the thing won't budge. You, sir, you're also a shop clerk, right? Do you have money? Yes. You sure this stuff is money? Well, here's what I have. Okay, just the same stuff again. And we could get some more revives, too. Uh, let's get three. If I just keep saving up money, someday it'll come in handy. That's what that guy who wept across the ruins used to say. We already saw him in the other dome, right? There's something odd about you. Did you really come from the dome to the west? Yes, we did. Alright, I thought it really matters. Alright, fine. Pardon me, I didn't even tell you my name. I'm Dome, a descendant of the former director of this information center. In the days when it was still... It still was one, excuse me. 
This dome substructure holds a supercomputer and a food storage facility, but the robot guards are still active and will not let us through. Ironic, is it not? We starve right atop our own stores of food. Well, worry not, though, and I'll help you out. You plan to go below? Of course. We've made many attempts ourselves, but they've always met with failure. But we're special. Well, there's no way of knowing what will happen unless we try, right? <laughs> hmm. It's nice to see such spirited young people for a change. Careful then, and come back alive. Oh, thanks, Dome, for your concern. This console controls the door lock. We need a password to get through. Yeah, very eerie across these planks, aren't isn't it? Isn't there like a mouse here or something? Ah, there it is. It appears to be a decorative statue. A note is attached to it. Warning, anyone approaching the food stocks is subject to attack. Yeah, I know for a fact that is not a statue. Okay, boss time. That's one way to make an entrance, isn't it? Initiating command sequence. Brother, what's that? It's a boss, that's what it is. Marl, let's smash this thing. Yes, indeed. Again, okay, this boss has a strategy, too. You can't attack the Guardian immediately. You have to get rid of the pods first. If you attack the Guardian, he counters attack very badly. Very badly. One down. Nice crit. Mm. Yeesh, that was a lot of damage. Okay, now we attack the Guardian. Problem is, he counts down to five, and when the countdown is done, he revives the bits. See, he's counting down already. Yeah, it's a bit, again, it's another battle of attrition, just like with the Dragon Tank. We gotta get as many attacks as we can before he does that revive. It should be any second now, right? Okay, let's heal up. You gotta come again. Okay, apparently they're called pods here, not the bits, but whatever. Potato potato, right? Okay, take out the right one first, I guess. Standing. Now you're done? Cool. Left pod. Okay, you can stop now. One more hit. Not yet. Not yet. We're, we're getting there, though. We are getting there. Okay, I gotta do an oral roll. He's counting down already. Get those hits in, folks. Get those hits in. Wow, he already, he's already at a three. He's at two. Not gonna waste it, because, yeah, pods revive. Again, rinse and repeat process here. Common thing you're gonna see a lot of in this game. Wow, that went a lot smoother. Done? Nope, still standing. Or floating, I should say. Okay, focus on the Guardian again. He's gotta go down soon, I know that much. Yep, breakdown. We Amen to that. Now again, if you fought this boss for the first time, would you think to take out the pods first before attacking the boss? I don't think so. I don't think you would. Alright, up ahead is food storage, but... Yuck, something reeks. That ain't it, Chief. Everything's completely rotten. The refrigeration must have failed.
Colonel, look. Mm. He's not breathing. He must have died down here. There's something in his hand. What do you suppose this is? A seed, right? It looks like some kind of seed. Mm -hmm. A seed? Could they even grow in a place like this? Well, if, uh, dirt and water, I guess so. A note is written on a soiled scrap of paper. That rat is more than just a statue. It knows the secret of this dome. Catch it. It should be right outside. Yep, there it is. There, that must be it. Shh, I might run away. Run after and press A to catch it. Come back here, Mr. Mouse. Got it. Squeak, I give up. I'll tell you everything. Squeak. Press A, Y, then B to activate the switch once you hear the sound. Squeak. In case you're wondering, that's the puzzle to the machine in the next room. The console. Yeah, right here. They should get, make the path. A, Y... Come on, A? A, Y, B. There we go, okay. Yeah, where we are now is a good grinding spot, but okay, okay, hold on, get the treasure first. I'll probably do some grinding here, like, after I'm done with this video. I don't want to spend time here too much, because it is rather uh, tedious, because enemies are a lot stronger. Some enemies, I, yeah, some enemies I may have to fight, though, if I bump into them. Either way, we're going to learn the horrible truth of what happened to the world war down here. Back room. Where's that back room? Okay. Do you mind? A Y B. They don't need that. Okay, I have to go with that door, right? And trust me, that boring sound is annoying me. The annoying the hell out of me too, guys. Here we are. This must be the supercomputer. Good, it's still operational. If we run a search on temporal distortions, we might just find our gate. Got it. So yeah, this is how we're gonna get back to back to our own time zone. East of here. I think it's called Protodome, if I remember correctly. There, Protodome. Leave it to Luca. Who the thought this machine could tell us something like that? Say, what does this button do? Mm. 1999 AD. Visual record of the day of Lavos. Mm. Yeah, this is pretty messed up when you think about it. Jeez. Imagine being on the planet when this stuff happens, when this happens. Jesus Christ. What? What was that? Lavos. Is that what destroyed the world? Yep. Then this really is our future? No, it can't be. I won't believe it. This... This can't be the way the world ends. Well, as is, it is, Marlon. I think actually the year we're in is 2300 AD. Believe it or not. Chrono. Hey, that's right. We can change it. Change history just like when Chrono did when he saved me. We have to. Right, Luca? Right, Chrono? Mm. Much of a taller order, Marlon. Just want to point that out. Yeah, I guess so. And fortunately, we got gates that will let us move through time. Okay, that is on our side, too. Nice plus. What do you say, Chrono? <laughs> no way. Okay, we, okay, let's do it. Oh, well, I say no way. Alright, it's set. Chrono, Luca, let's do this. 
First things first, let's get back to our own time period and see if we can find any information about the Zalabas. Next stop, Protodome. Look how they play the retrievement music in this section. And I'm pretty sure it's the main theme of the game, what we're hearing now. Okay, I really don't want to spend too much time here, that whirring sound is, like, irritating. Jeez. Good riddance. <laughs> Okay, let's get around these bug things real quick. Okay, now watch the rats. Hey, made it! You, you're back! Yeah, unfortunately I didn't have any food, but we do have the seed. And what did you discover? This is our future. Hmm? I don't think they care about that so much. Who cares? Where's the food? Right. This was the only thing left. A seed. You don't know how long the Enertron will hold out. That seed may might be your only hope. Anyway, just stay alive. Don't give up. We won't either. Hmm. You're a strange bunch. You're different from us somehow. You mean because we haven't lost hope? Hope. There's a word I haven't heard in some time. It does have a comforting ring to it, though. I don't know what kind of seed this is, but I'll do my best to grow it. What's that? This may just be the thing we needed. You're off the Protodome, then? You'll need to pass through Site-32. Take this with you. The uh, jet bike, yeah. It's the key to a jet bike, a jet bike parked at the Site-32 ruins. I used to ride it when I was young. Hopefully it still works. They got even more powerful robots in that dome, and they're, they've overrun the place. Take care, and don't give up hope. Why is Daddy taking so long? Ugh, kid. How's our... Uh, yeah, let's uh, use the Anatron again. I mean, the Widow knows more than she does, right? Who, no, not that. So my husband, he's gone. But he left me precious gifts, that seed and our child. Ugh. You know what, this game does get a little emotional, I'm not gonna lie. Or deals with some heavy subjects, for that matter. Okay, so, like I said, I want to go back downstairs and fight some enemies there. I'll get back to you when I'm ready to go to the jet bike, but before that, we're actually going to go with the sewers to the right, okay? See you soon.